I just need to find four. Four is currently left the house. How do you escape? Through the front door. Someone's engaged here. You find out where the he is, please. So get to Don, get Ryan up, get everyone. Thank you. Now we're missing four. And I don't think any of us should leave here without finding him, so. You can go, go, go rig around, round up. Hey, yeah, answer my call. Ryan, uh, Ford left the house and he's gone. He's not here. So we can't <laughs> find him. The only next step to do is call the cops looking for him. So whenever you get dressed, come out. Me and Van are out here looking for him. We need to be calling Don, calling for him. All right. Can you call Don? Hello? Hey, Don. What's going on? Don, I'm super concerned about four. Like, he's not good right now, Don. And, like, my brother's been, like, he's always had, like, depression. He's been diagnosed with depression since he was kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he really be going through it. That don't be a joke when he be down. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to tell him, like, you can't force a person to talk about it. They have to do it in their comfort moments. Yeah. So if he finds moments he want to confine to y'all, fine. Well, Ford done left the house. We can't find Ford right now. Call him. Make sure he's safe, OK? Yeah, right. just give him a call, bro. Please. That's been, all we yeah. care about, seriously. I've been with him all night. I'm call him right now. All right, call him. Yeah. Bet. <sighs> this is crazy. Oh. You calling him? <clears throat> I told him to text me. <sighs> we gotta figure this out, man. We gonna figure it out. Yeah, he did. You got him? Yeah. Okay, good. He was wanting me to be bad. He told me to come by myself. Okay. He was wanting to go. Um, it's much shall leave this camera scene. No, no, no. I need you to go by yourself. You yeah. understand me? Okay? The cameras don't matter. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Just let me get Right? Uh, you need a new girl, right? Uh, no, I got somebody out here. Let's pick me up. Got it. So just stay by his side and you just, you know, I'll uh, I'll stay here for the day, right? And if you need any resources, you just let me know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all need a car to right. go somewhere, or y'all need something, you just let me know, okay? I'm on the phone all day. Uh, I got you back. As long as four is okay. That's all I care about, brother. All right. All right. All right, all right boo. Bye. Nigga, you gay. Nigga, you gay. Oh, now four wants to run away now. 
like in this previous audio, he said he's felt this way since he was younger and his brother said the same thing. So for were you doing homosexual things when you were younger? Because in the article I read in the first time I addressed this, it says that transgendered or that male that he was having sex with, he's known him or her since high school. So now you want to get attention like a little girl. Oh, I'm going to run away. Nigga, you gay. You have to face the facts at what you do. And this is just a situation that has been exposed. I mean... When they were at the house and it was a crew, blocking crew, Chicago was there. He's like, yeah, well, why did you send a picture of your ass? Oh, he said, she wants to suck my dick from the back. So, like I've said before, Four should have said he likes men and disclosed that because I couldn't be with a man who likes to get fucked in his booty or do homosexual things with men to me that is not cool as somebody who does that um i can't rock with you like that in a relationship like we both like dick or something um but running away from your problems isn't going to fix it you can only fix your issues when you're willing to deal with them for has to accept that he is a homosexual male. And like Nikki, I would have broke up with him. Hell no, nah, there's no way a man could convince me. Yeah, goddess Kendra, I like I like men too. Okay, well, we can be friends and I wish you would have disclosed this to me. And then you have a lot of homosexual men and stuff like that in Chicago and in Georgia and stuff. So now we got to walk around going, sir, I think you're cute, but do you like men and women? Are you gay? Have you ever did some stuff with a man? This is really scary. And this is why I have trust issues for you are not fooling anybody. You're humiliated because you're a homosexual and you've been exposed. And what Ford doesn't realize is there is someone in this industry that can expose the scenes of the transgendered woman and her friend eventually is going to come to light. Either someone will leak it on YouTube or VH1 always has unedited scenes that they put after the show has um, gone off to go from one season to another. So we were going to find out, sir, if this is really who you are, I accept it. And another issue I have is that um, it's very frustrating that people, men, women, whoever, try to pretend to be something they're not. Like if you are a homosexual for, just accept this shit. But it comes down to accepting yourself and the homosexual things that you've done. You cannot accept it. So your thoughts are running really crazy. And what what do they say? Whatever's done in the dark comes to light. So you have to be honest with yourself. This is why people don't prosper. They want to do things and try to cover things up. I accept people for who they are even if I don't agree with it. Thank you for watching. Peace and blessings. Subscribe and like.